Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Forward Lakes walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at um, temporary access, like how we can allow temporary access to certain devices when they are blocked. So for example, if somebody uh, from your company is outside the office and he you know, he is at some place where he wants to access uh, USB for some reason, or maybe uh, inside organization somebody has a special permission to use USB, how you can grant him temporary access rather than moving him completely to a different group where it will have a policy which will allow him a USB or her a USB. So to do this, there is a simple option which you can um, do is that you need, you don't need to change its uh, location of the group. I mean, you do need to change the location uh, in terms of the groups. You, you don't need to change uh, any settings of the policies. You just need to do a temporary access so that once that time is over, it will automatically get blocked for this user. So this, I'm going to connect a USB which is already blocked on the system and uh, I'll try to access this USB. So let's see, let me just connect this USB to uh, the system and we'll see that it is blocked, of course, because I have a policy to block USBs. And what I can do is, this user can request temporary access. Once this user will request temporary access and it will define which device it wants to generate the temporary access file for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a request access file and save it. So I'll request for like 24 hours, for example, for this um, user and I'll save it. And I'll save this on the desktop. Now this user has to send this file through email or maybe through USB or any mean he needs to send this file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this file onto my application server. So I'm going to access the server through admin dollar. So I know I am. Right, so I'm going to copy this file to this location. I'm going to back to the server. Now what I need to do is because I need to grant access to this user on this machine, I'm going to go into grant access to devices and data in offline mode. And then this file to be uploaded. See drive this one and he requested for 24 hours i'll probably grant him access for one hour right and i'll save this file on the c drive and save it so i'm going back here i'm going to access the same and I'm going to copy this file to desktop and then I'll just add this file over here. Access to generic flash USB device has been granted. Access duration is one hour. So this is how I can access it temporarily. And yeah, temporary access to the device is activated and I can and read this. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I'm talking about.